just want to shoot quickly um, another video on codependency and and flipping in and out um, which someone asked me it's like um, a holy you no know, if one goes to the witnesser of one's thoughts and body one is in the infinite one is in the limitless presence so as soon as um, the, ego, the ego becomes activated when uh, so, so it identifies a situation as being special or important. So, if if you're being in the witnesser or you're in a state of infinite presence, that can be easily done in the park. This place of stillness or presence, or being in the witnesser, can easily be done in the park. But suddenly, like, if your if your boss suddenly comes into the park, you might lose that presence that being in the witness state because suddenly the ego becomes activated that this person has special meaning so it starts to one becomes identified with the thoughts and identified with this person as being special and it seems in that instant that the 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 witnessing field or the st the state of infinite presence uh, contracts when that happens now, so, the, so the, that's why you, one loses it. Or if a special thought arises in consciousness, then one can hook into that thought. Or if one is, um, if there's codependency or love addiction or something going on, then um, because th th those thoughts are special, and if there is also attachment, there can be emotions as well, which makes it even more sticky, then, you know, there's a contraction. One goes into this, this is a special person, this is a person that the ego needs. And so this kind of special, special relationship occurs rather than staying in the infinite presence. So if that occurs uh, just by going into what's witnessing the images or the feelings and just take it back. Because when, you're, when codependency happens or love addiction happens, suddenly there is these feelings arise and these images arise and this thing. So you, you get pulled into, there's an identification or a latching on and emerging with these feelings and these images and these projections. So you just want to go, well, what's witnessing these feelings and these images? And then detach and go into more spacious witnessing field of this. And if each time you do this, like you get hooked into the feeling and the image, and then the, but what's witnessing the feeling and the image, you'll start to dissolve the, uh, the dependency and, and this person being magical. Uh, Course in Miracles, you know, if you've got a picture of this person uh, that there's codependency or love addiction with, then you can like, I'd put like a picture on your phone of the person and then say this person, do the Course in Miracles on them. This person is equally as meaningless as the cup, which is as equally as meaningless as the plant, which is as equally as meaningless as the lamp. So you're just training your ego to take out that special magical thing because they're not as, they're not any more special than the plant or anything else. Also, I would just hammer it with any uh, good Course in Miracles lessons. I pray for a miracle to see this person differently, or um, like someone here in the group says, you know, I place this person on the altar of God and I pray for a miracle. So, uh, or. Um, uh, instead of this person, I could see peace, whatever it is, so that you keep hammering it with these um, course lessons, with the witnesser, uh, and with feel the feelings. And you can do it with those, with codependent relations, and then you should more and more be able to retain the observer. Also, in terms of in work situations, usually uh, if you go to the witnesser in work situations, eventually you're able to. Uh, function more in the witnesser in work situations. It's almost like the witnesser develops an intelligence without needing too much thought identification in work scenarios so that that can carry on and carry on going forward. So just doing doing that, there, there is just this great willingness to, to let that go so you can stay in the witnesser if there's codependency. Don't, don't let it go unchallenged. You just have to keep doing the work in the scenario. You have to have like an intention okay, I'm going to meet X tomorrow, or I'm going to work and my boss is going to be there. Um, be, I, you know, you can do stuff before at home, when you leave, you can be doing the witnesser, feel the feelings, making them meaningless, 
uh, praying for a miracle to see them differently, but also you need to practice it while you're in their presence as well. All the tools, you need to do it. Not, you shouldn't really go, the thing is like the ego, when they've got a special person, they forget all the things mm -hmm. and then try and do it afterwards. But really, the, you know, one of the greatest opportunities is to do the work while you're with them. And there the greatest miracles can happen. I remember, just to end on this very quickly, um, there was a lady I had a resentment against in a spiritual group. She didn't like me, I didn't like her, uh, Mago didn't like her. And then one day she was in the room and he just popped in, go to the observer. And then of course, you know, I was identified with my thoughts and my body and there was this um, feeling of uh, uh, anger, or not anger, more like dislike of this person came in. So I just identified with my personal me and I could feel that she didn't like me. And then I go, but what's, what's observing me and her and the whole room? So I said that, and then suddenly the witnesser was there, and everything popped. It was like that illusion of me being a separate individual, relating to this thing and having feelings, all popped, and it just dissolved in the witnesser. So, you know, it's great to do this stuff, make an intention to do it in those difficult situations with those different difficult people, and greater and greater space and freedom will, will come in.